So I've got this button open box assigned to me, which is unluckily not empty. And uh, the bug that annoys me the most right now is the this bug, widgets over menu when in pandit uh, mode, blah, blah, blah. So I've actually managed to reproduce this bug, so I'll show it to you. If I drag my panel to the left side and then go to edit mode, I can zoom in and if I drag the mouse on the right, you will see that at some point the pop-up of the system tray will disappear even though it shouldn't. It should stay here so that I can actually use it. Very annoying. So how is this happening? Well, it happens on a left side panel. If we try a top panel, go edit. It happens here as well. Let's try with the right one. Let's see. Nope works fine on the right one and as far as the bottom goes it works fine here as well i've tried it so i've i noticed that you see you have this white overlay when you hover an applet and if i go down it disappears it shouldn't which means that the bottom and the right part of the applet are broken so this could be due to many reasons. Um, the first of which is that you must know that the applet, which is in this case the system tray, is not actually as tall as uh, the panel. It's slimmer. And in order for the mouse input to reach the applet, even though the applet is smaller, the mouse input on the side top, bottom, right and left on the, of the panel is redirected inside the panel. So it seems that this redirecting is not working. So let's try to see, Let, let's try to find the code that redirects the mouse input to uh, the applet, first of all, because, you know, stuff is very well hidden. So I think it's in KDE workspace, uh, Plasma workspace, um, and then it was something like uh, shall uh, panel view. Yes, it was panel view, and then we've got it was around here somewhere. Let me try to find this. Hey, this one. So basically in this function, which is event, what we say is if mouse input is not inside the containment, which in this case is the applet, uh, make a new mouse event, but the position shall be adjust for containment. So what seems to be happening is that either uh, it does not notice that the mouse is outside the applet or it's not redirected. So let's actually try this theory out with a bit of dump debugging just by saying um, uh, let's try to see first of all if it is indeed inside the applet. So let's assign this value to I don't know k um, then we can return that value, but we can also um, uh, print it to screen so we are sure whether it's working or not. And to try this out, we need to compile it. So let's go to build um, workspace, I'm um, oh sorry, KDE workspace, Plasma workspace. Okay, make install. And then what should I... I think it's Plasma Shell that should be restarted. So let's go with that one. Source um, prefix Plasma Shell replace. Okay, let's see if the debug lines are working. And they are not. 
if k then could debug this as again professional let's go with a and b sorry okay a and b so this way i can know the value of um, k for sure again tribal code but you know i'm actually a python guy or at least i don't know qml c++ is quite out of my uh, knowledge so okay let's see okay so it's mostly a as you can see but as we approach the top it becomes b as well which is weird and if we go to the bottom it is also a and b very weird but you know i don't actually see any difference from the top side and the bottom side which is what i'm looking for because it works on the top side and doesn't on the bottom which means that i can suppose that this is working so let's actually try to see if it's this part let's um let's assume that this part is working return this value normally and focus on this part which actually does the adjustment of the mouse input so uh, let's actually try to queue the bug well, let's do this for sure uh, sorry okay and then let's try and please work to print um, the width, the height, height, height. It's height, right? The um, uh, rect. Uh, actually, let's. Uh, yes, let's actually go for not the item but the um, uh, rect value and here let's go with top uh, left uh, uh, no it doesn't make sense top bottom right left and then the mass input coordinates so um, point x and point y okay let's try this out hopefully it will, it will work out of the box it won't but it should mistake okay um cure okay so all of these does don't work uh, because this is point 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 but i mean uh, how do i uh, uh, how to cue the bug uh, i don't know a real number like I thought that QDebug would just spit out. Ah, because that this is this is how I'm supposed to use QDebug. Of course, I knew this. Damn with me. Anyway, let's actually use this thing properly. Uh, it's very dumb. I, I mean, I, I knew it was like this. I don't know what. Uh, sorry. I managed to toggle block mode earlier but I forgot <laughs> how to do it now so back to manually adding all the lines okay so let's try to see if this one worked and I hope it did
please. Okay, it worked. So let's try to run this. And uh, oh, it's actually printing stuff. It's not printing printing interest. Ah, okay. Now I do see some debug information. Okay. Of course, it only prints stuff if it's actually redirecting the mouse input. So if it's on the top and on the bottom. So what I'm getting told by this is that the top is zero, the bottom is 44, right is 120, which makes sense, and left is zero, which means that uh, these coordinates seem to be relative to the top left of the panel because uh, uh, otherwise this 0, 44 doesn't make any sense and what I'm interesting interested in um, okay so this one will be contained in this two and this one will be contained okay so what I'm looking for is why this one is of course okay so the issue is that the panel is 44 in height which means that the applet which is smaller of, uh, compared to the panel because it also has the blue margins these blue lines are not part of the panel the applet is smaller but in here the height of the containment is 44 and it shouldn't, it should be that minus the, the margin. Ah, but, but it's because I'm doing some logic here. Okay, so it makes sense. So uh, left um, top becomes plus the top padding and bottom becomes minus the bottom padding. So let's actually um, add these values here. Uh, this is right, this is bottom, and this is top, except that uh, bottom is actually minus and right is minus, which makes sense. So let's um, compile it again. Sorry, where is it? Here, okay, compile it. I mean, it, it seems like it's correct, so I don't really see what's going on. Let's see if adding these values, there's something wrong. So it's 36. This is looks correct. I mean, it goes from 8 to 36, meaning that uh, it's it has uh, 8 pixels of margin which is correct as far as I'm concerned. So this 43 that it gets should be like, should become 36 and be inside of the applet. So what if the 30, 36 pixel is actually still part, I mean already part of the margin and it should be 35? So if I go to bottom padding minus one, like this, and minus one is here as well, and then minus one, and minus one. Maybe it's just off by one error, which might, might make sense. I don't see how, but and trying out is never a bad idea. If it's a half by one, I'm not sure what would be the appropriate fix. I, I don't actually think it's off by one. So let's try to see just to make sure of that. So, okay, so now it's 35. Let's see if it's still broken. And it isn't. 
Okay, so it was off by one. Let's try to go to a left edge to see if it's broken there. It isn't. Ah, maybe it is. That means mean. So if I move the mouse, no, it seems to work nicely. Okay, so basically the 36 pixel is already part of the margin. So we've got 44 pixels. Let's. This is so professional. So we, as I said, we've got 44 pixels. Like this. Okay, makes sense. Now, we know for sure that the first uh, eight and the last eight are um, margin because that's how margin is defined as eight pixels, uh, which means that the total margin is 16, meaning that all of the other 26 pixels are given to the applet. So when we say that um, uh, we cube bound uh, the between 8 and uh, we cube bound the x, I'm sorry the y in this case, from 8 to 44 minus 8 which is as we all know 36 it means that what's the spec of Qbound? Let's see if there's some uh, weird. Mm, if there's some weird behavior going on, I, dub I, I dubbed it Qbound. Um, okay, makes sense. It compiles to this stuff, meaning that we can actually r go replace this. So min is um, 8, max is 36, and var in this case is eps, epsilon. So let's actually try to do two different use cases, one for uh, epsilon max and one for minimum. In this case, uh, I take the least number between these two, which of course is 36, and then uh, the max, which is 36 again. In this case, I take the minimum, which is 1, and then I take the maximum, which is 8, which all looks fine, except 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, the 8th pixel is within the content, but this is the 36th, which is the margin, because this is the 35th, th 35th, sorry. Okay, so, so that's the mistake, that, that's stupid. It's basic mathematics. <laughs> Uh, the the 36 pixel is uh, within the margin already. There's no mistake. I just need to actually apply the minus one. However, the nice. Let's go with. Um, okay, so this is what we've done. Let's create a branch for this uh, right now. Let's just check. Um, we are in master. Let's check out work uh, fix. Uh, uh, um, contain, contain, man, correct. I uh, think Nikolov. Let's go. Let's add my name as well. It's minus B. Nice. Git add panel view. Git commit add a minus one to make the mouse input not redir redirect to a um, to a margin uh, pixel. Cool. Let's get push to origin work Nikolov fix containment. 
and then we just save we just have to create the merge request okay add minus a uh, we can say that uh, how do we explain this let's say that the as input redirect gets otherwise redirected to the 36 pixel which is um, a margin pixel already whereas the 35th is the actual content assuming a normal 44 pixel panel um, and then we just say like bug and then the number of the bug I always mess this up sometimes this has to go in the event description sometimes it has to go to the title let's actually I don't know I'll keep it here and change the title if necessary okay so let's submit the merge request and we've already solved our first bug today bug today so this one is fixed uh, themes with thick borders broken panel okay this is a weird bug that I don't want to address right now panel icon sizes don't change gradually enough what is this about okay let's see uh, this is about uh, the icon size of of what as the icon sizes of the task manager. I noticed that in Plasma 5.21 using the panel with the height set to 38 results in the panel icons getting bigger than before. This also means that the icon is now very close to the highlights effect line. Let's uh, try to reproduce this. So let's go with uh, 38 in panel okay yes it is true that they are pretty big they probably shouldn't nice when reducing the panel height to 36 the icon sizes are reduced and there is more vertical padding which is correct there is indeed more vertical padding so observe result fairly big icons with panel height at 38 expected result normal size icon with panel height as 36 can reproduce with an horizontal panel with size 38 and 54 okay i'm not sure what you expect me to do here i can make uh wait no, uh, yeah, the so uh, the theory is that the task manager icon should always be as big as the kickoff icon. That's the theory, at least. So let's do a quick comparison. Uh, 58 is right, 56, okay. At 54, they are indeed too big. Then they also get smaller. And then at 38, the kickoff button gets smaller but not the task manager icons nice this is an easy one I know how to fix this so let's go to this one is actually a frameworks bugs I hope I hope I know how to fix this so the theory is that the margin of the panel is defined in the theme so let's go to the theme. Breeze is the finance, uh, I don't know, is widgets panel background. So we can see that the margin of the, the panel near the task manager is this one, the dark purple one. And this is uh, four pixels, nice. But the margin of the task manager is actually defined in a different file which is the tasks.svg I think 
I think. It, it was around there, wasn't it? Ah, come on. It was something like this. I remember it was something like this. So, my... Okay. So I thought the margin was defined here, but it isn't. Maybe because the maybe the margin is not defined here, and so as a margin, it takes the uh, height of uh, this element, which is three pixels instead of four. But the margin should totally be defined here. I don't remind. I don't remember, sorry, what they should be defined as. Because in the panel they are hint top margin. I think that they need to be hint normal top margin here. I think. Let's let's try to go for my guess. So let's copy the margins that we want to see. Um, let's turn on the grid, please. Uh, grid. I don't remember where the grid is. Page grid, thank you. And let's put, where is it normal? Normal is this one? No. Which one is normal? Minimize attention, normal. Okay, this one. So let's put this here, this here. I'll do something nicer when I'm I know this works so don't worry about that so this one is called hint top margin but should actually be called in top uh, in uh, normal top margin in normal right margin in normal bottom margin and then in normal left margin save uh, yes normal okay and now I've changed something plasma framework meaning that uh, which one is the easiest way to test this let's actually try to compile this so let's go to um, build frameworks plasma framework and make install okay and source the prefix and uh, sorry just a second I don't like this let's get back to the beginning of the album okay let's actually try this out with plasma shell replace Nothing changed, of course. Let's try to see in the task manager source code which margins I am supposed to look for. So let's go to home, uh, KDE, source. The task manager is in um, KDE, workspace, plasma desktop applets task manager package contents ui uh, let's go to main.qml first uh, and let's look for a frame svg item which in this case is called task frame okay but the margin is actually applied in another word guess mm, task.qml okay and we can see that the margin of um, the icon box which is the box with the task manager icon is based on the task frame dot margins top bottom blah 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 
which is and um, uh, task frame is defined here task frame and it is widgets task which is the this one uh, with the normal prefix which is this one I am indeed correct hint normal top margin so let's start debug debugging the size of the um, uh, icon box again professional Let's uh, let's see how this goes. Let's make this bigger and then let's go with uh, 54, which is one of the sizes with the bug. Let's re restart. Ah, I need to compile Plasma Desktop for this to work. So let's go to Plasma uh, KDE Build uh, KDE Workspace Plasma Desktop and make install this why is it compiling so much stuff okay it compiled so let's replace plasma we should see a big red rectangle nice let's go see the size of these rectangles and as we can see it is exactly as tall as the task manager minus the top bar which means that i'm correcting my assumption that it's using this part as the margin instead of this one nice so Why is it doing this? Why why are why are you doing this to me? Let's try to let's try to I don't know uh, in the when I lo load this one it uses task frame margins not I don't know task no task frame which is perfect normal okay so. Um, when you do this, maybe let's put this in a code block uh, that returns this value, but let's also use this one to um, spit out the values that we are looking for. So the top, the left and I don't know bottom margins um, okay we should be able to find this in the hell of all the various um, debug lines let's see what happens Here it is. Three four three three four three three four three. Okay, so basically this one is three in size, this one is four. So this one three, this one four. It's not trading this margin at all. Which is not something very nice of him. It should. So let's try to see in some other SVG if there's anything wrong that I'm doing let's take I don't know panel background dear panel background um, we have thick center for thick oh dump me it's not okay of course it's not hint normal and it's normal hint oh, come on 
normal hint. Uh, whoops. Come back, please come back. What happened? Oh, come on. Uh, this one was a uh, normal int uh, bottom margin. Nice. This one was um, normal int left margin. Here we go. Let's try this out. Now the values are read correctly and the rectangle is as small as it should be. Very nice. So now, instead of crazily resizing them, these are supposed to be four by four by four, whoops, I said by four, like mm, this one is wrong, by the blue grid is not helping me because it's blue on blue. Okay, four and come on, four. Okay, this one was also slightly off. Okay, and now it should resize just like let's take off the red rectangle which is useless if we try this out it should uh, resize just like the kickoff so it's here it's small big small big small and then 38 it's small 40 is big 38 small we managed to fit, fix this bug as well. So, in order to submit a fix for this, uh, I've bit of, I've messed up this SVG. So let's actually do a clean one. Let's go in the Plasma framework. Uh, let's close all the other SVGs without saving. Let's close this one as well. Sorry, too many open windows yes quit this one can also go let's go to um, let's uh, here so if we sorry, git branch um, let's actually revert everything we've just done uh, git reset sorry like this now it's gone let's open it up with gate git add task.svg git commit fixes the size of the uh, task manager margins to be as big as the panel ones then git push origin work slash nikolov slash uh, fix task manager blah 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 let's see if the uh, new links works Let's copy paste it into Firefox. Please, thank you. This makes the task manager margins to be as big as the ones in the panel. That is four pixels, always better to specify. And then it fixes this bug. So, bug, this one, let's go for it. And it's already half past midnight, so I would say that our job for today is happily done. Thank you for following me in this 
beautiful uh, night of debugging where I broke my task manager. You know, I'm too lazy to actually get back it to normal, so I think I just leave it as is until I reboot. Till then, see you, have fun, blah blah.